Hey, I'm going to work out practice F. It's supposed to check an array of integers and return true if the numbers are ascending. That means going from smallest to highest and uh, false otherwise. And it's OK if two are the same in a row. So anyway, when we check nums A, we should get true because it goes up or the same. And here we should get false because it goes from seven down to six. I mean, it should stop right there. So what I'm going to do is reverse this. I'm going to return true if all my tests don't return false. So uh, I'm going to check the whole array and make sure everything's in ascending order. And if I ever find it not being in ascending order, I return false. And then the default value at the very end is to return true. So I'm going to um, start. I'm going to start with element one instead of element zero of the array, because I'm going to check the current element with the previous element. Um, I still has to be less than nums.length. And I'm, it's pretty simple check. If nums i, remember, think about it, we're looking at the second element of the array, element one. If it's less than the previous one, then uh, it's not in ascending order. We can return false. It's literally that simple. I'm done. Uh, we were just checking, hey, is element one less than element zero? No, great. OK, is element five, is element two less than element one? Da, 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 da. Is seven less than five? Is seven less than seven? Is eight less? Than... And so this whole thing doesn't trigger it, the first one. So then it returns true. And on the second one, it does trigger it at the point where ele this element is less than that element. And and that it, that sends a false back. And that's right here. So that was quick.